How can MOXIE produce reliable oxygen on Mars? When the first astronauts land on Mars, they may have the descendants of a microwave oven-sized device to thank for the air they breathe and the rocket propellant that gets them home. That device, called MOXIE, Mars Oxygen In-Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, has generated oxygen for the 16th and final time aboard NASA's Perseverance rover. After the instrument proved far more successful than its creators at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, expected, its operations are concluding. MOXIE takes in Martian atmosphere through a dust-trapping HEPA filter, compresses the atmosphere via a scroll pump, heats it to 800 degrees Celsius, and sends it through a solid oxide electrolysis SOX, assembly, where CO2 flows over a nickel-based catalyzed cathode and decomposes into oxygen ions and CO. The Scandia stabilized zirconia ceramic electrolyte selectively passes oxygen ions to the anode, where the ions recombine into O2, which is measured for quantity and purity before being released to the Mars atmosphere. The cathode exhaust is a mixture of CO2, CO, and inert atmospheric gases, primarily argon and nitrogen. The current version of MOXIE is small by design, in order to fit aboard the Perseverance rover, and is built to run for short periods, starting up and shutting down with each run, depending on the rover's exploration schedule and mission responsibilities. In contrast, a full-scale oxygen factory would include larger units that would ideally run continuously. Despite the necessary compromises in MOXIE's current design, the instrument has shown it can reliably and efficiently convert Mars' atmosphere into pure oxygen. It does so by first drawing the Martian air in through a filter that cleans it of contaminants. The air is then pressurized, and sent through the solid oxide electrolyzer, SOX, an instrument developed and built by Oxian Energy, that electrochemically splits the carbon dioxide-rich air into oxygen ions and carbon monoxide. The oxygen ions are then isolated and recombined to form breathable, molecular oxygen, or O2, which MOXIE then measures for quantity and purity before releasing it harmlessly back into the air, along with carbon monoxide and other atmospheric gases. Since the rover's landing in February 2021, MOXIE engineers have started up the instrument seven times throughout the Martian year, each time taking a few hours to warm up, then another hour to make oxygen before powering back down. Each run was scheduled for a different time of day or night, and in different seasons, to see whether MOXIE could accommodate shifts in the planet's atmospheric conditions. The atmosphere of Mars is far more variable than Earth, Hoffman notes. The density of the air can vary by a factor of two through the year, and the temperature can vary by 100 degrees. One objective is to show we can run in all seasons. So far, MOXIE has shown that it can make oxygen at almost any time of the Martian day and year. The only thing we have not demonstrated is running at dawn or dusk, when the temperature is changing substantially, Heck says. We do have an ace up our sleeve that will let us do that, and once we test that in the lab, we can reach that last milestone to show we can really run any time. Since Perseverance landed on Mars in 2021, MOXIE has generated a total of 122 grams of oxygen, about what a small dog breathes in 10 hours. At its most efficient, MOXIE was able to produce 12 grams of oxygen an hour, twice as much as NASA's original goals for the instrument, at 98% purity or better. On its 16th run, on August 7, the instrument made 9.8 grams of oxygen. MOXIE successfully completed all of its technical requirements and was operated at a variety of conditions throughout a full Mars year, allowing the instrument's developers to learn a great deal about the technology. MOXIE Tech Specs Main job to produce oxygen from the Martian carbon dioxide atmosphere. Location inside the rover, front, right side. Mass about 37.7 pounds, 17.1 kilograms, on Earth. Weight 37.7 pounds on Earth, 14.14 pounds on Mars. Power 300 watts. Volume 9.4 by 9.4 by 12.2 inches. 23.9 by 23.9 by 30.9 centimeters. Oxygen production rate up to 0.022 pounds per hour. Up to 10 grams per hour. Operation time approximately 1 hour of oxygen, O2, production per experiment, scheduled intermittently over the duration of the mission. MOXIE is the first step leading to a system hundreds of times larger to support human exploration. Operations described in this paper show that MOXIE is well on the way to fulfilling its first goal, 
demonstrating daytime and nighttime oxygen production during all Martian seasons without any detectable difference in performance beyond that expected from the changing atmospheric density. The second, and equally important, goal, to inform the design of future scaled-up systems, will be met by a combination of laboratory experiments on Earth and analysis of the long-term behavior of MOXIE on Mars. Problems may arise in scaled-up systems that are not faced by MOXIE, but much of relevance to future systems has been learned from building and operating MOXIE. In seven oxygen production runs through 2021, MOXIE successfully produced 50 g of oxygen and definitively demonstrated that it meets requirements for oxygen generation rate and purity despite design compromises demanded by severe constraints on mass, power, volume, and cost. A strong start has been made at testing performance over the full range of Mars diurnal and seasonal environments. Diagnostic baselines have been established, including the use of a microphone to characterize the mechanical compressor, and new techniques have been developed and validated for in-situ diagnostics and calibration. Among MOXIE's design compromises mentioned above are the following, the use of fixed apertures in lieu of pressure regulators, compromises in stacked thermal control resulting in substantial thermal gradients and lags, a greatly simplified command and control system with limited sensor measurement and self-calibration capability, and the need for intermittent operation with full heat-slash-cool cycles on each run. All of these liabilities would be addressed in a future scaled-up system. It is possible that some of the technologies appropriate for this small-scale demonstration would be less efficient and effective in a full-scale implementation. For example, while a mechanical scroll compressor was an effective solution for MOXIE's small size and intermittent run opportunities, a full axial, lobe, or centrifugal compressor may be better suited for a full-scale system. Alternatively, cryogenic pumping systems that cycle between gas, liquid, and solid phases may have synergy with the liquefaction process that would be the final propellant production stage. Modifications of the cathode microstructure or material choices should be investigated to increase resistance to oxidation. An important but unavoidable difference between MOXIE and future systems is the occasional and intermittent nature of MOXIE operation, which imposes substantial thermal stress on materials with each heating cycle. Reduction in cycle-to-cycle -cycle SOX degradation was a primary development focus, and operation so far on Mars indicates that the outcome was highly successful. At the same time, the energy constraints of perseverance do not allow testing of longevity over the thousands of hours of continuous operation that will be required in support of a human mission, both at the system and component level. These tests are planned as part of an ongoing laboratory program. An additional, subtle consequence of occasional operation is that it is less dependent on autonomous control than continuous operation. Ample time is available between runs to, for example, estimate atmospheric conditions and tune the compressor speed accordingly. A full-scale oxygen production plant will need a sophisticated monitor and control system to respond to daily and seasonal variations in the Mars atmosphere as well as changes in the performance of the plant itself. This will require not only advanced, adaptive software but also more capable processors and more extensive and robust self-calibrating sensors of gas flow, reactant concentrations, individual cell voltages, pressure, and temperature. MOXIE has shown that a SOX technology for producing oxygen on Mars from the atmosphere is viable, is scalable, and meets expectations for efficiency and quality, although long-term durability and resilience remain to be demonstrated during the balance of the Perseverance mission. Future work needs to emphasize enhancement of monitor and control capability coupled with increased SOX robustness against carbon formation, but all indications are that a scaled-up version of MOXIE could produce oxygen in sufficient quantity and with acceptable reliability to support future human exploration.